The following footage was reviewed by a professional counselor, a licensed attorney, and a clinical psychologist. This footage may be disturbing to some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. What are your honest opinions on Nuvarex, otherwise known as Ethan? Nuvarex, um, you know, he's a real inspiration. You know, he's really in inspiring to all of us. Uh, he's very, very passionate. Very, he's, he's definitely involved in our lives in more ways than one. Um, he's, he's, you know, we don't get paid much. Actually, we don't get paid at all. Um, but it's really the experience is what he, he tells us. It's, it's the clout, you know? He's like, you're going to take that clout and you're going to like it, you know? Yeah, that's what he says, and uh, I think, you know, that, that really touched me. Were you ever abused in any way while employed at Nuvrex Incorporated? Uh, I, I wouldn't say that, you know. It, it, was, it was very much gentle encouragement. I, I wasn't abused. No. What are your honest opinions of Nuvrex, otherwise known as Ethan? You know the therapy video. The one with Evan, you know... That was real. We were psychologically tortured. I understand you've worked at Nuvarex Incorporated for a while. Yes, I have. And what are your honest opinions of Nuvarex, otherwise known as Ethan? A common theme between interviewees was that the subject of today's investigation has a certain inclination. He's pretty gay. He's the single gayest man I've ever met and has done unspeakable things to me. I'd rather not talk about it. That's okay, I'm not gonna pry. Several sources in one very popular tabloid report that Ethan commissioned you for art, yet he never paid you. Is this true? No, the work environment is great, and the pay is great, and I love working here because it's great. Now, Aiden, manager of the CEO of Nuvarex Incorporated, I'd like to ask you some questions. No comment. But I, I haven't even asked no any... No comment. This just in, controversial CEO Ethan Nuvarex Minecraft has been spotted in this town square. We're going to see if we can get some answers. There he is now! Mr. Minecraft, Mr. Minecraft, this is Jerry Gay with the Bedrock Broadcasting Company. We have some questions for you. Would you like to address the allegations against your Fortune 500 company, Big Racism? When I was a child, I experienced racism for the first time. Let me set the scene. I'm six years old. Both my parents are happily married, and we live in Beverly Hills. September 3rd, 2008. We are in Bakersfield, California. And me and my mom decide to get coffee. So, of course, we go to Starbucks. I order a frappuccino with extra whipped cream from Emily. 13 minutes later, I get my frappuccino, but with no extra whip. I confront Emily about it. Emily, I asked for extra whipped cream on this carbon frappuccino. Emily completely ignores me. Later, I ask my mom about it, and she says, Ethan, listen to me closely. Some people are going to judge you. They will judge you for what you have and what you are born into and even who you are. But you have to move on. I say, okay, sure, and buckle myself into our 2024 Chrysler Pacifica. 20 years later, I realized that she was talking about the color of my skin. That's why I started Big Racism. I want other people to feel what I felt that day. I want them to wake up and to know that they are hated exactly like I do. And yeah, the $6 million bonus is nice. What about the small Roblox content creator you reportedly bullied? I'm six months pregnant. 